UK border agency is at war with smugglers in the ports and airports. You don't have to say anything. Get that out of my face. Just leave it. Coming up. Suspicions are aroused by one passenger carrying seven candles. You know, it's quite a, a large amount of candles, candles to have. Hey, don't break that. I was going to use that. I bought that. Back searched. OK, have a good meal on the plane. Hey! Sounded like you just had a three-course roast dinner. And officers get their hands dirty at Gatwick. This one stinks. Ooh. No. Oh! Put on some gloves, motherfucker. What is that? <laughs> UK hygiene. <laughs> It's rush hour in Gatwick, and Class A drug dog Lucy is back in training. Her amazingly sensitive nose is about to be put through a training exercise. A flight has just arrived from Ghana, and officers have asked the passenger to hide a tiny sample of cocaine in their bag. Thank you. It's Lucy's job to find it amongst the crowd. It's all right, don't be scared. It's vital the sniffer dogs Thank get you. experience of real life situations. Stand still for me, please. Good girl. Damn. Lucy's nose Good can girl. detect drugs at just a few <laughs> particles per trillion <laughs> and easily picks out the fake smuggler. But it's the passengers behind him who grab the officer's attention as two Eastern European men pass through Thank with you. no hand luggage. Blue Hawaiian shirt. Yeah. yeah. The other guys. With the white top, cool. a bit taller. Yeah. They're obviously together, though, aren't they? Yeah. So it'd be interesting if they don't. Come no, through together. Right, um, sort of kind of Gatwick's had a recent surge in Eastern Europeans smuggling cocaine from Ghana, so their suspicions are highly aroused. Okay. Wait to see what happens here. Over in the freight terminal, there's another job for the border officers, and there's no rest for sniffer dog Lucy. Uh, we've got a bit of a uh, BA mail to do. Not she's going to uh, sniff some yeah. boxes and some sacks and see if she uh, likes any of it or not. If so, we'll uh, ask Royal Mail to open the box. So, let's go and give it a go. Sniffer dogs are a vital tool in tracing drugs smuggled via post. But with millions of parcels coming through Gatwick every year, it's a time-consuming process. Sit. Sit. You go. Where? Oh, maybe. Come on. Almost immediately, Lucy picks out a box and gives a trademark indication. Oh, that's it. This one. Not bad. Would you mind having a look at this box for me? She's showing a lot of interest and she sat down, which is a good indication. I'll get Royal Mail to open it. OK, thank you. The officer has gone to Royal Mail to get them to open it, because we're not allowed to open it ourselves. So I'm just waiting for them to come back now to, to see if there's anything in the box, and they can then examine whatever the contents of the box will be. Royal Mail okay. have opened the box, and officers can now inspect so the contents. Just having a look at the contents of the book. Seems to be all wooden items. Flax are quite common. I'll x-ray them, see if it shows anything. What are these the random ass items? Any hidden concealment. Yes, you can see on this, the bigger one here was the first plaque that went in. There's a line around the edge, just here and here. Nothing in this one or this one. With the x-ray showing a hidden concealment, there's only one way to find out what it is. Huh? Hey! It's my trophy. Yeah, you can see there's white powder here on the drill bit. We'll do the test now. Hopefully it should go blue. And demonstrate the presence of cocaine. Yeah, it's just starting to go blue as it dries here, which confirms there's cocaine in the package. It's an excellent find by okay. Lucy. I'm going to bring Lucy back in. 
uh, for water on her find. So they'll put it back into the box, put it back amongst the other Lucy boxes. Lucy completely forgot she even did this. get her ball this time. We can't really give her her ball the first time because we don't know if there's anything there or not. With the cocaine confirmed, Lucy gets her well-earned reward. She takes a while to actually indicate. She sniffs it thoroughly first. So. There we go. Good girl. Clever girl. Oh, okay. So they make her redo it. Then. Yay! Fair enough. Good result. Across in the Gatwick custody suite, the officer's suspicion about the two Eastern Europeans was spot on. Wait a minute. Is that the Ritz? Hello, yeah, it's Kevin here. I'm in the uh, custody suite. We've got two smugglers. Kevin and Mark questioned the suspected smugglers. The men were then x-rayed. Inside their bodies are dozens of packages full of cocaine. Uh, you just take your clothes off, put this on. Back down. Can't hear from me. The men will remain in custody until the packages have passed through their systems and the officers can collect and analyze the evidence. Meanwhile, a Lithuanian translator has been brought in to explain the situation. Right. No shit, danger. That's inside. super dangerous. Uh, we will put him in a cell at the moment, and we're going to turn CCTV cameras on, and he will be monitored at all times for his own health and safety. How does that work? Yeah, they swallow like the packages. Yeah. OK, does he want to do it? You know? No. Officers must closely monitor the men and observe when they go to the toilets in case they attempt to swallow the These toilets are, are, are um... they pass through their systems. Is the other guy in the cell? Yeah. These toilets they block stuff. Right. So when you flush they keep the juice. Lots of them are on the bones, the temperature's down in the cup of tea. Okay, so it's just taken to the special. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. There's a special toilet, basically, where um, it collects any packages that when people go to, go to the toilet, basically. So it's, um, it's a way of collecting the evidence to ensure it doesn't go down. It doesn't flush down the loo. Not our favourite job, actually. Yeah. Lucy <laughs> Mars got the job, not me. The guy asked to go to the loo. He's, he's been to the, we've got a special one that we use for people who swallow drugs. And obviously, if they pass any, we need to connect them up. And, and yes, he did. So, I need to go and sort that out now. That is Officer Mark, This is the first time he's dealt with drug swallowers. Collecting the evidence yeah, is not a pleasant experience. Yeah, let's so say you may. Yeah, don't show me, don't yeah, show it. As the toilet is flushed, the Lithuanian uh, swallower's you know, cocaine is washed into a special basin. If just one right. of these packages had burst yeah. inside him, the man would have been killed yeah. within yeah. seconds. Yeah, thank you. An unlucky Mark's job is to rinse and clean the packages so they can be sent off for testing and used as evidence. In all, the men had swallowed 50 packages each with more than a kilo of cocaine. They've since pleaded guilty and will now have to swallow a long prison sentence. These bags are huge. Look how huge it is. The busy shift continues at Gatwick's dude, North Terminal. Dude, I, I have trouble swallowing a, a, a normal pill of like encetaminophen. Dude, these are like big ass juicers. Dude. That's a whole dick size. What the fuck? Border force agents have been alerted to a suspicious stash of Campbells, which one passenger has brought back from Jamaica. We're gonna make a little hole in them. An X-ray has revealed a suspicious line in the Campbells, so Officer Jess suspects there may be something hidden inside. Look, Stuart. And straight away, the smell confirms his suspicion. It's the third drug haul of the day at Gatwick. This time, herbal cannabis. Well, you get it in all sorts of places. Weed. Do the rest later. The passenger proclaims her innocence, but is arrested for importing a controlled substance. We've got a total of seven candles. 
Uh, the first one is showing that we've got a small amount of cannabis in it. That's what like funnel about. We're just going to make sure that the others have also got cannabis in it. And the second one would indicate also that it has got cannabis in it as well. So the top part, it's slightly darker than it is on the lower part. Which obviously now yeah, we, we know, know it's like got a wheat price, like about 200 deal. grams of cannabis inside. How much? The, the, obviously, about 200 grams of cannabis inside. 200. The the lady actually, when she was stopped, did That's mention that amount. she bought some candles while she was away, and which is fair comment because people do actually buy different. Presents yeah, to bring back smoke, to people when they go abroad on holiday. Stone, stoners um, or dealers? <laughs> and she actually did say she'd got some candles. Bums. I think the officer came suspicious when she realised that she'd got seven, which is, you know, it's quite a, a large amount of candle, candles to have. So that now leaves us with four candles to examine. And I suspect the other four candles will probably contain herbal candles as well. With two Class A seizures already this morning in Gatwick, Jazz was hoping to find something more incriminating than cannabis. A little bit disappointing in reality for us professionally, so... But, uh, nevertheless... ...a good concealment. <laughs> Nobody would ever make any, any reliable money dealing with it. They would only, like, a, They would only buy takeout, restaurant food, uh, buy more weed, um, gas to go to places to smoke weed, and then that, that's it, dude. There's With no, over one zero dollars left. And a half kilos of cannabis found inside the candles. The passenger is now awaiting sentencing. Where are they coming from? Coming up, one man yeah, forgets his manners in front of officers. <laughs> okay, have they got me on the plane? What? Sounded like you just had a three-course roast dinner. My friends were bums, I didn't tell you. Coming up. This stinks. Ooh. Officers get their hands dirty at Gatwick. Oh, why though, dude? Just put a glove on, chap. At Manchester Airport, an international flight has just arrived with over 200 passengers on board. UK border officers are scanning and x raying bags for any unusual sights. This one's coming in from Montego Bay in Jamaica. So it's of interest to us from a drugs angle, you get cocaine and cannabis both produced and imported from the Caribbean. So basically any flights from the Caribbean are of interest for, for drugs. For drugs. As passengers disembark, Officer Liz is on the lookout for any suspected smugglers. Hello, sir. You travelling on your own today? Yes. Can you just bring your bag this way for me, please? Where have you coming from? Yeah, can you just bring your bag this way, please? Do you have a passport and ticket? Are you aware it's illegal to import certain things into the UK, such as controlled drugs, indecent material, yes. offensive weapons? Yes. Do you have anything like that with you? No. Do you have anything to smoke or drink? No. Right, OK, what's in your duty-free boxes there? Rum. OK, so that's the drink. So how much rum have you got? Is, uh, six bottles. Oh, six Jesus. bottles of rum. OK. Do you have a key for this, please? He's way over his allowance for, for spirits. Yes. And Liz yeah. is suspicious about the man's denial. She decides to x-ray some of the goods in his baggage for any hidden drugs. The gentleman's just got some fruit and some bottles. Well, you want uh, to make a cocktail, man. What I'm doing, I'm just x-raying it just to make sure that um, there's nothing concealed within the fruit or the bottles. Sometimes I've had little packages that are stuck behind the labels in the bottles. So I'm just checking there's nothing concealed there. They all look fine, so. He's got quite a lot of bottles of rum cream. I'm actually gonna test one of the bottles just to make sure there's no cocaine in solution. What's just happened here is, I've just been swabbing various things uh, as I've been going through the baggage. I've just tested the swab and it's actually come up with a small trace of heroin. Yeah, that's just... Uh... Okay, now that's... Quite unexpected, really, because um, the sort of drugs you'd be expecting to find from Jamaica uh, would be cocaine. It's by the way, they were stored where they're from, there's, there's none, so no shot. It's only a small trace, and I'm just going to see if I can replicate the hit to see where it's come from, and then I might ask them about it. 
Having found the trace, Liz is now on the lookout for any behavioral indicators. The man may be Yeah, it's really common. Okay, have a good meal on the plane. Yeah, the meal was terrible. The meal was terrible? What was it? Oh! Some, oh, some powdered what? eggs. Oh, what? Is that it? A powdered oh, egg? Not just the man's manners causing Liz concern. That is absolutely Sounded like you just had a three quarter roast dinner. dinner. Yeah. One of the indications that someone might have an internal consumer of drugs is actually burping. Um, and I, just, I don't know whether you caught that, but he just gave a very loud burp and he's not eating very much, so, you know. My suspicions are raised a little bit. He's also not got a lot of money. He's got five pounds to get a taxi to somewhere, which he might get there for five pounds, but I'll just carry on, see what we get. Wait, what? So if you have money, you're suspicious. If you have no money, you're suspicious. So, so what, what do you even do then? You just, you just say... Well, what, do you, what, what can you even do? Yeah, you're fucked both ways. They're on the lookout for passengers bringing in more than their items of cigarettes and alcohol. The officers shuffle their ID cards and pick at random to see who gets which job. What? Yes! Hazel wins, but her husband <laughs> Paul draws the short straw. I can't believe I'm lost again! Having successfully chosen her ID card first, Officer Hazel will have the first choice of any jobs. Stinks. The slightly less glamorous part of our job. I think it's his shoes. The bags have arrived from outside the EU, oh, and passengers are still limited to 200 cigarettes. Hazel must find the cigarettes, even if this means confronting her pet hate of touching other people's pants. There's 800 in here as well. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, oh, I saw it! I saw it! She might not like it, but the owner of this oh. bag has 800 cigarettes. Oh. Hazel, just put some gloves on and look, uh, look professional. Oh. That's poor Paul. That's someone's bag. Oh, what's the wrong with them? Wait, oh, all of them are poor Paul. Oh, just the most revolting part of our You'll job. You'll fix your butthole, man. passengers exceed their allowances, the goods oh. need to be seized. Which one are you going to do, Hazel? I don't mind. You choose your number one. I'll do the suitcase. Right, okay. Let's go. With their jobs allocated, the officers oh, head upstairs or not? and wait for the passengers to claim their bags from the luggage carousel. Is it the two of you travelling together? Yeah. Yep, yeah, excuse me, sir. Could you bring your bags over to one of the benches for me, please? Are the two of you travelling together? Yes. Where have you just arrived from? Lanzarote. Okay, if I can just have a moment of your time. Right, so what have you got in here then? That's what I got off the plane. Okay, so you've got yeah. 400 there, yeah? Yeah. And you've got 400 other cigarettes? Yeah. Okay. So that's basically twice your allowance. Right, okay, so, so if you've got 800 cigarettes, mm. that's you're allowed 400. So you've okay, got chap. When we were there, I could take 400 out. And I said, what about on the plane? He went, yeah, there's something on the plane, you can buy them on the plane. Yeah, uh, but... He's directly wrong. OK, so you've got 800 in total, yeah. then. Is there any other things you want to tell me about before any we carry on? Tell the man? Nah, he seems legit. legit. Cigarettes or booze anywhere? I can't remember what I've got in this one. Right. If you can prove that he's going to smoke them, I think he's going to. Whilst the passengers appear to understand they've exceeded their allowances. OK, I'll just pop that one down. If you just hand that one up. No, that's happy. OK, because you're over your allowance for both alcohol and cigarettes, and because you knew your allowance, OK, I have to seize everything from you, OK? That's everything that you've got here. 800 is a lot. So that's what Dude, some couple had, had nearly more than a thousand, I'm pretty sure, last time, and they let them keep it because of how degenerate they looked and how much it was obvious they actually were going to smoke all of them. They said that they smoked, dude, they said that they smoked like 80 a day or some shit. And they were like, yeah, you're good. They, 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 they could just tell. cigarettes and five pounds. Yeah, we saw the video. Five and a half litres of spirits, okay? I'll just get you some documentation. Just hold on 50 for a or second. 60 of that's insane. You're well in excess of your allowances on both alcohol yeah, really and like cigarettes. That, yeah. So these items are going to be seized from you today, okay? I'll issue you with some paperwork. Yeah. 400 um, but a week, apparently. These taken and destroyed, okay? okay. They admitted to knowing that they were over their duty free allowance for alcohol and for cigarettes. They looked a little bit peeved, but they knew they'd done wrong. He, he didn't say anything as such, but I think he was hoping he'd get away with it. 
<laughs> That's like a good answer. Okay, thanks very much for your time. Fair enough. I mean, admittedly, I went down the wrong channel. Oh. Uh, sort of jumps on us. It's nothing against smoking. I just like smoking. It's only in your lifestyle. I think it, it becomes you. You sm your 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 fingers are it inside. It's smoke. Your 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 smoky. Your teeth are smoky. Did your skin is crispy. Your lungs are crispy. What are you doing? Come, come kiss the cancer. Mm. Come on, come kiss the cancer. It's so weird, dude. We paid the price. It's fucking it's weird. Lesson. For the officers, it's been a job worth getting their hands dirty for. It was a little unclean, a little unclean, but we didn't make too much of an issue of it. I had first pick of the detections because I'd won the draw, so I decided that I'd uh, I'd take the the cleaner option and give the, the bag with the dirty lingerie to Paul. I think he got a slightly bigger seizure out of it, but it was worth it not to have to uh, rummage through that again. It's sure that the chap go, man. It was a personal in use, you can, you, you can tell, man. has found nothing in the suspect's bags. The last thing to check is the passenger's rum. Can you pass me your, your juicy free boxes up, please? Cheers, Oh, that's a rum. Okay, this isn't rum, is it? This isn't rum, is it? What is it? Yeah. Okay, just wait there for one second. Liz's intuition and patience has finally paid off as she finds a large package stuffed inside the duty free market cases. Actual okay. bricks. Obviously, what I was expecting to find in the duty free boxes was rum. Okay. This clearly isn't rum, uh, so obviously I suspect it to be drugs. What am I going to do now? Cuss into there. No, cannabis. Okay, and what we've got here is herbal cannabis by the look of it. I'm actually going to arrest the gentleman. I'm going to ask my colleague to test it, and I'm going to just take him into a private room and arrest him. Just want to take a seat there, please. Okay, okay I suspect this to be... Okay, so yeah. the time is uh, 08.33. I'm arresting you on suspicion of being knowingly concerned in the illegal importation of a controlled drug. As the man begins to realise the consequences of his actions, Liz gets the results back from the tests on the substance. All that red colour there, that's confirmation that it's cannabis. Obviously, the, the, the indicators there that he's nervous and all the rest of it um, are still there. We now know why he's nervous, because he's got this, but... I yeah, I guess I'm talking to the voices, okay? What about it? Guys, listen. Listen. Guys, I'm telling you. I'm not kidding. She's real. Can't discount. See? It's real. <laughs> possibility that he may be carrying drugs internally as well but the man is less than happy at the suggestion that he may have swallowed Can it answer the question? Can you mute it? Yeah, drugs I need to be sure that you don't have drugs on you you know inside you are you okay with that no because I have nothing in my stomach no because you've got nothing in your stomach right if you refuse to have um, the compass you will be monitored and we'll have to wait for nature to take its course and you'll have to have two clear motions with the man's reluctance to have an x-ray Liz is adamant they'll find out whether he swallowed drugs one way or the other Okay, we're going to take you upstairs now to our custody suite, okay? So, uh, if you'd like to follow us, you can push your trolley, okay? You alright? 
The man's frustration is understandable. Liz has intercepted a huge amount of canvas. It was actually quite a shock when I saw um, when I saw the, the tape packages. Um, I wasn't expecting it. I just thought he'd actually got too much room. The packages contain big juicer, one hundred small yams by Avid Agnes. Actually, you helped me through some. You have to donate, man. Thanks for being here, man. Actually, you helped me through some tough times. I'm happy. Uh, I'm killing my career now. I want to spend my whole paycheck from last week. Okay, just, 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 just send me a DM with your email. I'll refund that shit. Fuck his auntie, dude. Eight kilos of cannabis with a street value of more than this, 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 twenty-five thousand pounds. What the fuck was that, dude? Was revealed that the cannabis smuggler. I'm not gonna get your paycheck. What is that? Pages. He's currently awaiting trial. Jesus. 